Right, I'm gonna give you a heads up. I'm not on my project today. It got, okay. it got tea spilt on it. You said what now? It got tea spilt on it by my little sister. Oh, tea spilt on it. Okay. Yeah. But you said you slipped on it or something. I was like, what? No. <laughs> it's so fine. Um, days to get it done again. Okay, just fine. Just um, redo it, I guess, and. You know, show it to me as soon as you get that done, okay? Just don't fall behind uh, with that as well as, you know, working on the next project. Well, I wish I could get the next, this, uh, project seven done before I get project six done. Say it again? Our projects. Oh, um, you have more time doing the next project than this one. Um, project, so project eight. I don't project know. eight is the next project. Yeah, I'm doing projects. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, project seven is due today. Project eight is the one that's the next one. You have more time to do project eight than project seven because I think project eight will be a little bit more time consuming. Um, but it's, it's still a good bit of time that you can possibly do the project seven again. I oh my gosh, it's so freaking cloudy outside, but it's sunny outside at the same time. Oh, yeah, the sun did come out over here. It was definitely cloudy a moment ago. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, let's just hang tight a little bit. Oh, wait, there's somebody coming in now. Uh, let's wait for more students to hop in before we get started. Good morning, Niles. Hope you're doing well. Get you and Jesse down for attendance. Sean's coming in. <clears throat> Good morning, Sean. Hope you're doing well. Let's wait a, another moment or so for more students to hop in before we get started.
According to my time, it is now 10.04, so I guess we can go ahead and get started. Uh, I was trying to use that time to make an order at Wayfair because apparently um, this nightstand I bought uh, got shipped to me uh, recently and I was putting it together and one of the parts don't fit because it wasn't cut properly. thought I was going to have to ship the nightstand I got back, but uh, apparently no return necessary, so that's good. I don't have to go pick up tape to repackage it. All right, but anyway, that's enough about me. Let me pull up the class on Canvas real quick. Hope everybody having a <clears throat> great morning or at least a solid morning so far. Now, also remember to turn your video camera on to be counted for attendance. If you do not have it on and I don't know you there, then I cannot count you present. You have to be counted absent. All right, but starting class as always, we'll take a look on I'm Canvas eating. real quick. Okay, that's fine. Just make sure you turn it on at some point. Uh, starting off on Canvas over at the home section, we see our daily reminder, which tells us to always check your announcements and calendar. In the announcement section, nothing new as of yet. So let's go straight over to the calendar for today's date, April 6, 2021. <clears throat> We got the class start time, the Zoom meeting information, as well as the bell for today. I asked another pretty simple question for a, basically an easy 100 grade for bell work. I ask you, where is the most beautiful landscape that you have ever seen in person? Uh, myself, I probably just say my, my hometown out in the country in Mississippi. Uh, there's some like swamp-esque areas slash like foresty kind of areas. It's very, um, it's a good bit of moisture there from like the humidity, but uh, there's like some nice pond areas to like fish in uh, and creeks to, you know, canoe in if you want to. But I like that really natural uh, foresty kind of look. At certain times of day, like early in the morning, Sometimes sunset too, but either early in the morning or sunset, it can be it can be pretty beautiful out there. I like that natural kind of setting. But you know, for your own perspective and your own opinion, where is the most beautiful landscape that you have ever seen? That's what I'm asking for today's bell work. Uh, Jesse, do you have a place in mind? Kinda. Okay. What would that be? Uh, I went out to the out to a farm or like the country area for like the summer one time and uh in the morning I was climbing trees I didn't know it was that close to sunrise so I saw the sun rising over the huge lake that we were by. Okay. Like, I what about you, Sean? What did you say, Jesse? I don't remember where the lake was or anything like that. Oh, okay. Uh what about you, Sean? No, I really haven't seen one in person, but I think this year I will probably. Okay. Well, you know, that's today's bell work. So answer that how you would like. Next, let's take a look at the calendar and we'll see for today's date that we also have Project 7 is due. Um, so let's take a look at some of those. Okay, I stop sharing my screen. Let me go to the grades so I can input some grades. All right, Sean, do you have your Project 7 assignment ready? No. I'm good. Uh, why not, Sean? I think whenever I... I probably didn't look through it. Okay, well, work on it if you uh, can at some point and get it finished. Uh, Niles, do you have your project assignment?
Niles, are you still there? In that case, we'll just move yeah, on. Yeah. Do you have your Project 7 assignment? No, I don't think, no, I don't think so. All right, why not, Niles? Hold on, I'll be right back. You said what? I'm sorry, I'm turning like to the side. I'm trying to like hear my speaker that's way back here, this thing. So whenever I turn off to the side and kind of like look to the side like that, that's what I'm trying to do. My ears trying to like pick up the speaker back there. All right, y'all, we're just gonna move on then, I guess. Let's see. So next, share my screen. We're gonna talk about project eight. <clears throat> All right, so we go back to the calendar. Today's date, we see project eight here. And let's take a look at the rubric to see what it asks of us, or what I ask of you. So. All right, so for project eight, this is the stippling project, okay? For this project assignment, students will be drawing a landscape using stippling. That's why I asked about that landscape earlier. Stippling is the creation of a pattern simulation, excuse me, simulating varying degrees of solidity or shading by using small dots. So basically just, it's a picture made with a bunch of bunch of dots, no lines at all, just dots. Such a pattern may occur in nature and these effects are frequently emulated by artists. Students may draw whatever setting they like. The drawing may be completed in either color or, says, uh, but it's supposed to be, uh, or black and white. Uh, the drawing must be completed using a marker, uh, but may be started and sketched out with a pencil. Uh, you could also use a pen too, but uh, the reason why it must be done by a marker and a pen is because it's easier for me to see from y'all on Zoom, if you were to just do it with pencil, it could be very, very hard for me to like really look at it. So basically just, you know, some kind of form of ink with markers or pens. Uh, grading criteria will be structured based on technical skill displayed in technique, creativity, and student presentation. And here's like a little visual breakdown right there. All right. So I have some examples of stippling. Hold on one moment. Let me pull them up. One moment, y'all. All right, I don't quite have like a, a PowerPoint made. I just kind of got like individually downloaded picture examples of stippling. But here's one example right here. It's a black and white stippling landscape. Um, I'll have to zoom in for you to see really closely, but this entire drawing is really made up by just dots. They're not like lines at all. If you look closer towards the edge of it, you can see all these tiny like dots and marks. Uh, I wish I had a better image than that. But you can see all the landscape, uh, all the different values are made by pretty much how close together the dots are. Uh, when you have all these dots to, together real closely and compact in an area, it makes it look darker. When you spread them out more and show more of the white of the paper, it makes it uh, the value seems lighter. Okay, but well, this is a black and white example. Next, let's look at 
Oh, I'll do this. There we go. Next, let's look at another black and white example. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Some phlegm in my throat. As you can see here, it's more clear of a example of stippling with the dots being further away from each other. So you can see more of the white or the background of the surface of the painting or whatever, or excuse me, not painting, of the, the drawing. And you can see close together, the more compact and clustered they are, the darker of value you can see. That's why in the rubric, I suggest you possibly draw it out with pencil and then go over it with like a marker or a pen. Uh, that way you have a better idea instead of you're just kind of just freestyle it or whatever and not quite having a good uh, template or a map of where you're doing your stuff. And also if you draw it out with pencil first and then do it with marker or pen, after you uh, do it with the ink, you just simply go back and erase and of course the ink will stay, but the the lead from the pencil, all those markings will disappear. So you'll still get your your stippling landscape pretty well. Let's look at another example. Here's one in color. Uh, this is with paint. I just got this. Uh, I don't want you to use paint. I just have this example because it's a, a pretty good example with color. OK, but again, don't use paint, just use uh, either markers and pens, so ink, okay? Here's a better example. Well, let me like go in between the zooms. Okay, anyway, uh, you still see a good clear representation of the landscape with like the trees, this river and bridge. Uh, Depend on, depending on how big you make your dots, it can get kind of like a hard to see what the image are or, or is if you use just black and white. So color, you're allowed to have dots closer together and similar size while still having a good idea of what the landscape is gonna be by using basically the color to kind of like move the eye. And one thing with stippling also, uh, closer up, it looks just like a bunch of dots, but the more farther away you can see the big picture with the orientation of the dots, you can get a better idea of what the image is. All right, here's another one. I got eight examples total. Here's an another colorful one. Again, you get a pretty good idea of a landscape, what it is, but it's made completely by dots, no lines connecting or so ever. As you can see closer, it gets just a bunch of dots of different colors. And again, you could have more dots closer together uh, and jumbled up with uh, color and it'll still show you a good bit what the landscape is. But if you do it in black and white, I highly recommend you just keep it in mind how far apart they are to let the paper or the background show through. So you get those shifts in value. Okay. Here's another example. As you see, the further away it gets, it seems almost more defined, but the closer you look at it, it's a bunch of dots not as uh, distinguishable as what the subject matter is. Notice it even has this like moon kind of planet thing in the background that you can see further off by like it's crescent, but the closer you get, not, not so much. Okay, that was example six. Good morning, Mateo. All right, here's another example. Now, here's a better view of like, you know, a lot of the dots close together, even if they're like the same color, the closer together they are, the more dark of value it tends to be, especially up here in the sky. You can see more of the, the background, so it's lighter value. Then you get closer together, it starts to make these kind of like, uh, kind of like the outline of some of the clouds. 
even with the water some down here, you can see the more spread apart it gets, the lighter the value, the, the more jumbled up, you kind of get like a, a defined edge for the most part. Nice landscape here. It's a foreground, middle ground, background, all the way back to the sky. And we got one more. This is black and white. Yeah, this is another black and white example. It's a bunch of dots. Although I know it looks, you know, like pixels, because for one, this is paint <laughs> that I opened it in. Uh, I got I just got these from Google, just different uh images. But the you know, closer together you get like darker values and harder edges. The further apart you get like lighter areas. As you can see with the trees, like darker areas, super close together and kind of make a almost a hard edge. Further apart, the more space, the lighter the area gets. So again, definitely recommend you drawing out with pencil first. You don't have to, I just recommend it, okay? But that is what project eight is basically. Um, does anybody have any questions about that? Like to what it is? Okay, Mateo, we were just talking about project eight. Let me go back and share my screen for that. You can find it either, you know, in the assignment section, of course, or in the calendar for today's date, project eight down here. It brings up the, the rubric and stuff. Now, if you see at the top, you have the due date, April 20th. As I was telling Jesse before, you have more time to do this project because I feel like it's going to be more time consuming since you're literally just putting dots. You're just, just poking your paper or whatever over and over. Instead of just like lines to kind of co co uh, cover a space, you may have to do like a line of dots just to do that line. Um, I highly recommend you listening to some music or something. Maybe get you like a little rhythm or a little beat or something while you're doing it to kind of make it seem faster and not as a slow process because it is a slow process, but you may get bored with it pretty easily with it. Uh, maybe while you're doing it, listen to a podcast or something. I don't know. Whatever it is y'all listen to, it's kind of take your mind off of how much time it takes because it, it can be time consuming depending on how much detail you put into it. But remember it's, it's a landscape or you can use color or make it black and white. Uh, it must be done with markers, but you could also do with pens. Just, you know, make sure you use an ink for it. Um, but that's basically what the project is. Uh, Mateo, do you have your project seven assignment today? All right. Be sure to work on it and show it to me uh, as soon as you can, okay? Um, but that's basically what we're going over for class for today. Pretty simple, pretty sweet. Uh, again, does anybody have any questions uh, for me about anything? Anything they need to tell me, let me know about? All right, well, that's basically it. Um, I'll see y'all Thursday. I think we'll probably have another pair of art videos from Art21. Um, I may or may not have a writing assignment for it for like bonus points. I hadn't decided yet. Uh, but definitely those videos are probably going to be what we talk about uh, Thursday, as well as if you have any projects to show me Thursday, we can take a look at those. Uh, but that's basically for class. I will see y'all then. Hope you have a great day. And I'm slightly disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, I was really looking forward to somebody saying, oh, nice glasses, Mr. Tim. But nobody said, oh, Mr. Tim, you got your glasses. So missed out on the opportunity. Maybe I could have gave you some bonus points for the compliment. I don't know. But nobody said anything about my glasses. But it's cool. It's going to stick to filters and stuff for now. I don't know. But no, I'm just kidding. I will see y'all Thursday, okay? Y'all take it easy. Oh, Mateo, I've been working on another my player. I made another, I made a big because I got tired of that. But all right, y'all see y'all Thursday.